Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World and welcome to the Rapid Transit add-on. This is going to be an interesting one. Right, so we're, we're in Germany for this, for this Rapid Transit. Uh, Okay, fantastic. Right, tell you what I'm going to do before that, I'm going to do that so I can take a nice thumbnail right there by pressing the F1 key. If you haven't played Train Sim World before, uh, I do recommend you go check out some of the other videos that I did on Train Sim World, but this is for the brand new Rapid Transit DLC. So sit in the indicated driver's seat of the unit. What, a, what an interesting train. First of all, I want to... I want to have a bit of a walk down the train. It's a short train. Look at that. It's a very short train. Very interesting. And like it said, it's a, a Bombardier. And I think... What did it say? The S-Bahn Mitteldeutschland. I think that's right. Uh, before I continue, I am going to end up butchering most of the names uh, in all these German names. So we climb up here. Uh, how do I get up here? Come on. I want to get in. I, I want to get in. There we go. Fantastic. Having a look around at the... Okay, you can go straight out here. Let's have a quick look down the train. So, I'm going to I'm going to obviously look around everywhere. What does this say? I don't know. I'm going to guess that this is going to say no, no bicycles and no baggage in the carriageway. I think that's what it's saying here. No bicycles, no no baggage left in the... Oh, I suppose this would be the gangway. So you don't want that in the gangway. I like this little step down over here. Over to there, there's steps there. Would that be wheelchair friendly? I don't know. I mean, actually, I suppose that would be wheelchair friendly. I suppose the wheelchairs can go here. Do these come out? No, they don't. Very nice seats. Look at that. You can have a nice sit down. Very nice. So, yes, we are looking at... Whoa, what's this? Kiddie seats. Oh, that's awesome. And it's like some sort of maybe Where's Wally sort of stuff. Or I suppose in America you'd say Where's Wald... Is it Waldo? Ah, here's some uh, disabled seats so, or disabled seating. So, so, as you come up here, this is a little bit narrow. Oh, maybe it's from this side. There we go. Right, yes, here. So you go along here, go along here, and there's all the seating for disabled passengers. Uh, those that are in a wheelchair, it's fantastic. So this is an inner city train, I believe. And you go right the way out here, and this is a bit of first class seating. That's interesting. First class seating on an inner city train. Anyway, it's not very long. As you saw, that was only 40 yards or something away. So we're only looking at about 40 meters, the train. Let's have a sit down. Right, okay. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. The auxiliary battery. Okay, so hold the battery switch in the ein position. Ein? Ein? What does that mean? One? Start? That's that one over here. So we'll get out of the seat and we will start up the battery. Right, okay, yeah, that must be off and on, I'm assuming. Two, three four five i see the battery power going up there we go with power available use the master key to unlock the oh this is really nicely done on the multifunction displays well they're already on but let's uh set the master key to one so as you can see there's a zero currently so that's one there we go uh confirm the train configuration by pressing e on the mfd slash mtd so that's that there, that's the MFD, multifunctional display. This isn't an aircraft MFD, of course. And activate the pantograph. Right, okie dokie, so that would be, up would be pulling it together. There we go. Did that do it? Have a look outside. Maybe I only put it up part way. No, I didn't, I didn't put it up. Okay, maybe it's push. No. Oh yeah, it is push. Okay. That was odd. So now if we go outside, you can see there you go. The pantograph is 
up. Okay. Set the pantograph circuit breaker to closed. Fantastic. There you go. That's closed. Uh, dipped beam is what they want. Okay, so oh wow, this is just like a uh, normal headlights. Fantastic. So that's that one. Set the reverser to forward. Uh, the reverser is that. No, it's that. Oh wow. Uh, is V? F uh, I'm assuming V is forward. So there you go. Dipped beam or dipped headlights, right there. Although that doesn't look like dipped headlights to me. That looks like full beam headlights to me. But uh, whatever. And we'll switch that over to forward which is v okay the horn is that button there or that one there it seems okay okay so it's got a combined power brake handle i see that that must be this one here this is an emergency brake okay Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to move that to the release position, which is up that way. Finally, switch off the parking brake. I mean, this is my absolute first time in this train. So, right, that's parking brake off, that's parking brake on, that's po that's brake test. So there you go, that's the off. Now, this is our combined power, power handle. And the train will begin to right, so I'm just going to use W... Uh, sorry, is it W and S or A and D? A and D to move this. There we go. Right, and that looks like the speed that the train is going to be headed Great towards. The unit Perhaps... Is Great, yes, thank you. Alright, so that's not too difficult to get started, actually. It's actually very, very detailed. So far, I'm very impressed with the with the DLC. Obviously, outside, we're going to have a nice look outside as well. Uh, the power brake handle to the neutral control. position, there you go. Whilst that's rolling around, and we'll just have a quick look. Good shrubbery pretty smooth on the frames right so we're going to stop the train as well so let's go back inside uh, and then we're going to bring that down a little bit there you go so that's on brakes you can just see there that we're applying some brakes and that's slowing us right the way down in well I think we're in like step three of braking there Okay, and hit the handbrakes. That concludes this brief introduction to the Talon 2 articulated electric multiple unit. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, so manual is something that we can read up. I'm glad that there's a manual. Achievement unlocked. RTE green light. That's rapid transit. Alright, uh, that's our first look at that. Let's continue on. Replay tutorial? No, let's go to the main menu. I want to see what's what's actually available in here. So we've got tutorials, which is just that, which we've just done. So unfortunately, the only thing about this is there's only one train. With the Great Western Railway, there were three trains. Um, you know, the Class 66, the Class 166, and the Class 43. So there is that. Now, scenarios. Looks like there's loads of 30-minute scenarios. Uh, rapid Transit, drive a northbound ser service from Macklenburg Graschwitz across Leipzig via the city tunnel as far as Leipzig Mess. We've got the Metropolitan Line which is from Bitterfield across Leipzig via the city tunnel. We've got northbound, we've got the southbound service and we've got a crosstown service all of them are 30 minutes long let's have a look at the services that are available in obviously this train yeah we'll just do standard stuff over here right here we go so we've got uh that's one that's one that's one now hang on a minute do they i want to see the entire map here is that the whole map that must be the whole map so there's just this one one line on the whole map that seems to be potentially a pretty tough line but it is fairly small we'll find out over the next couple of episodes obviously how small it is what i want to do is i want to have a wander around spawn walking yes please uh yeah let's just go for a nice a nice day in 20 degrees and we're going to spawn I tell you what let's spawn on this side of the, 
down here and then we're going to walk around in this video. That's not something I've done generally. I've generally not walked around in the video but I think it's a good idea to have a look. We've looked at the train, now we're going to have a look at what the what the actual stations and everything are like. Uh, first of all, yeah they're okay. From, from a distance they looked a bit weird but I suppose they're loading in now. Go down here, so this must be to get to other platforms. Yep. All right, so let's walk. Let's walk down the length of one of the platforms, and see what we can do. Now, this is because this is a an inner city service. I'm going to assume it's a pretty large train station actually for an inner city service. But I'm going to assume that this is a. We can walk down the entire length of the line. What do these say? Uh, oop. Okay, that's basically where we are. Decent chairs. Yeah, everything looks good. Good texturing. Nothing's flickering around. High quality, as you would expect. There's something over on that side that we're going to get. A uh, nine-car stop and a four-car stop. I think that's what that means. I think. We're on platform five. All right, so let's let's run back down this way. I don't see any trains coming in just yet. We're just going to run along this way. Obviously, you've got the overhead power lines, the cables up there. So let's run down here now. I want to see if we can get out. All right, where are we here? This is platforms four and three. Now, that way is out. So that's going to be platforms two and one. Ah, we can't go outside. Now, see, that's a... That's a bit of a concern for me. Now, I don't fancy walking the track. Let me have a look which side we are. So, we're down here. We want to be headed up in that direction. I tell you what, let's... Now, tell you what, let's walk the track. We'll walk along the side of the track. Just a bit of... Bit of fun. So, let's run along here. Let's see if we can walk down the side of the track. And we're going to see... Have a nice look at... Ooh, there's a bit of crack. That's fairly good on the textures. One of 25 hazard cones added. Okay, so there's a little mini game here. We can add hazard cones in places. I wonder what that will do. Uh, careful about falling over the platform edge. Fine. Signals. Yeah, the signals seem to be okay. That's something I need. I need a signaling tutorial here because I don't know what the signals are like. Right, can I just... Well, I mean, I assume I can't get back up there anymore. Oh, there's some stairs over there. Let's have a... Let's just start running down this line. Let's just see what's what's around. Alright, what does this 9 and 6 mean? I don't know. Is that a standard... I want to climb on the track. I can't actually get onto the tracks. Right, why can't I get on across these tracks here. Ah, there we go. It's like you have to force your way across. It's, you have to start running as you're doing that. Okay, they, they're they not repeaters. I don't know what they are. Yeah, you have to really be running already. That's slightly annoying. And again, it's like you're, you're having to jump across. Right, let's continue along the track. So we've taken a little bit of a look at the train. These are the power cables all right very fancy lots of stuff here good unreal engine working as it works uh, maybe I can just go into sort of what other modes can we go into ah uh, we can't get into any other modes here so what I'm going to do is in obviously for the next few minutes I'm just gonna run along the track but then in the next video we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff right what's this See, I don't understand what those signals are. I'm assuming that means we're going to be joining on to something. Red is obviously red, but then there's one, two, three, four, five other potential light combinations it can show. That's a bit of a worry. Like, let me just jump over this side. What do we have here? Can we go through this stuff? No. Some bushes, some shrubbery. It looks fairly German around here. These are pretty well done. Uh, very sharp corners. But it's okay. I mean, you're not going to normally look at that. Bit of a flat plane as well. 
they could have maybe done a bit more work on that. Let's have a look. I want to see if there's maybe a level crossing I can get to. If I can get to some sort of level crossing, then maybe I can get onto the roads and have a have a wander down the road. Because it looks like, like I said, it looks like this is in the middle of some sort of city or some sort of town setup. And I want to see then what it's like in the town. So I've got some points here. Can we manually move these points? No, we can't. There's no way to push and pull them. That's okay. Some more signals that I don't understand. It's very quiet. I like that. As you would expect. Is that the moon over there? That looks like the moon. It's the sun and the moon. Very nice. Now, so far, first impressions on this. It was very detailed. The, the train to start up was incredibly detailed. Uh, far more detailed than I, I saw on the Great Western trains. The Great Western trains didn't seem to be all too detailed on start up. But we're, we're going to see in the next video how much, how accurate it actually is. Aha! Is this a, a road that goes down or is this a river? No, this is a road. Okay, so can I go down here? No, I keep it. I wish there wasn't the invisible walls here. I want to be able to just walk down there because... Ah, there we go. Done. Fantastic. I'm now down there. So that was a bit of a bug. Doesn't mean I can't get back up. No, I can get back up. Can I get back in? Most likely I can. Alright, so let's have a wander around the town now. Anyone recognize the cars? This looks like uh, some sort of an Audi. Uh, some sort of a... None of these cars are actually real. Looks like a Dodge from the front. A bit of a Dodge Charger. Uh, again, they, they didn't really work on this section here which is I always I always look at this and I think why didn't they just open this up just make a junction block it's very easy to make those and just snap them together that would have been absolutely fine just gives it an extra sense of realism you know just here have a t-junction simple and go out this way at least this is all you can walk around this whole area fairly high detail on the buildings I must say, uh, ooh, looks like we we run out of buildings here. Hmm, interesting. What happens here then? Is this the end of the world? About to find out. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. No, no, they they continue off in that direction. All right, so I'm assuming because the railway doesn't come this far. They don't really build it out here. So let's take this alleyway down. Down here. This isn't this isn't train sim world anymore. This is more like a we'll go down here. Is that the railway again? No, I don't know. This isn't train sim world though anymore. This is more like exploring a little city or a little town. I mean it looks fairly good. It does look fairly good. I, I'm assuming I can't that's the rail. Is the railway on the other side of this? If so, that's going to be a little bit annoying. They have to walk all the way back and then try and get back on the railway. Obviously, the the graphics are very well done. the The models are pretty well done as well. Look, I mean, there's it's not really three. They're not three D. They're more flat planes with a little bit of extrusions on that but it does the trick it really does do the trick right here yeah we're back here and then back onto the railway there we go back onto the railway okay oh no the railway ends here so I must have gone the wrong did I go the wrong way I must have ended up going the wrong way for some reason Because this here looks like the end of the railway. If I check, yep, it is the end of the railway. So that's the end of the map. Okay, so what we've done is we've travelled from here down the end of the map instead of the opposite direction where I wanted to go. But that did take a little bit of time to get to. 
So interest, it'll be interesting to see what it's like going up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this video here. And in the second part of the first impressions, we'll do a 30, we'll do a 30 minute run right up this track and we'll see what we can do. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Train Sim World Rapid Transit. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. If you've picked up Train Sim World have a, uh, with Rapid Transit, do let me know if you've uh, played with the train, you know, taking the train down the routes. What do you think of that? Um, do you think that it's quite highly detailed? I'm about to find out in the next video. Of course, I'm going to find out for myself how detailed it is. Uh, so far, the rails seem fairly detailed. The, the town, the the building structure in general seems pretty detailed. So I'm, I'm quite happy about that. But I want to see what it's like. Uh, oh, I can't get through that. There we go. I want to see what it's like as driving the train to a schedule as opposed to just moving the train as I did before. So I'll leave it there and don't forget to support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively appreciated. And also do go check out my 2000 subscriber special. Uh, link to that was probably on the sidebar or if you just go to the channel, channel page, it'll be right there because it just came out the other day. I'll see you guys next time where we're actually going to run a 30 minute train as far as we can go. I'll see you then.